Nigeria, Africa's most populous country. A hundred million people live on less than a dollar a day. But a small group of people are getting filthy rich. So just where is all that money coming from? Oil has been drilled in Nigeria for more than 50 years now. And in the late 1950s, the first cargo was shipped by Shell from the Niger Delta. People were hopeful in those days. They were hopeful that oil could bring great things to Nigeria. It could have been the driver for Nigeria to become a, a rich country. But instead, they've got nothing from oil. Since the 1960s, $600 billion worth of oil has been extracted from the Niger Delta, but the people there haven't seen any real improvement from their lives. Pollution has been a major problem in this Niger Delta. The UN found that it was carcinogens that were 900 times the safe limit in the drinking water. But when the oil flows everywhere, our crops destroy. Fish inside the water die. Oil companies come here to exploit our people. We don't get any benefits. Oil companies exploited Nigeria until one person fought back. Ken Serowiwa was born the son of a Nagoni chieftain. He became an author and a poet, writing 22 books, many of them critical of the political establishment and of the devastation brought to his people by the oil companies. 94% of the gross national product of Nigeria is oil, but the Nagoni people have nothing to show for it. I have perceived a great injustice being done to these people. And as a writer, I've decided that I'm going to fight it. In 1993, Ken Serowiwa organized a protest against Shell and the military dictatorship. 300,000 people poured into the streets of Port Harcot, Wari, and Lagos, the largest protest ever in the history of Nigeria. I do not want any blood spilt. We are going to demand our rights peacefully, non-violently, and we shall win. Yeah. On that day, when I saw the large number of people, I really felt a sense of fulfillment. I, if I had died the day after that, I would have died a very happy man indeed. That same year, General Sani Abacha took power in a violent coup. Abacha quickly made a name for himself as Nigeria's most bloodthirsty and ruthless tyrant. His dictatorship made over $10 million per day from oil revenues, mostly from Shell. To repress the protests of the Agoni people, Abacha's military began to attack Agoni villages. Hundreds were slaughtered. Many more were injured. To suppress the protests against Shell, Ken Serowiwa and eight of his friends were falsely accused of murder and arrested by Abacha's forces. In February of 1995, General Abacha conveyed a special military tribunal in Port Harcourt there was no jury, only a military general and two judges, each of whom had been personally selected by Abacha. On November 10, 1995, Ken Serowiwa and eight other Mosop leaders were taken to the basement of the prison in Port Harcourt. One by one, the military officers hanged Ken's comrades. 
Ken Sarawiwa was the last to be hanged. I just asked, where was God? How can you let an innocent man be killed in that sort of horrible manner? Oil has made this country very, very corrupt. Everybody has gone oil crazy. Billions of billions go missing every day. To looters, to public thieves and criminals. If you walk on the streets of Nigeria, you can feel the rising anger. Young people took up arms and engaged the state in a violent confrontation. Shell spends a lot of money on security, paying, in some cases, rival gangs for access to their own infrastructure. You can never have this kind of poverty and they have a peaceful revolution. It's not going to happen. Something is going to give very, very soon. This oil that you put in your car takes away our freedom, our livelihood, and it contains our blood.